The following program may contain strong language, possible nudity, adult content, or sensitive content, and is intended only for mature audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. All right, this is Tim Doucette with DDP Studios Incorporated, and we're here with... Jordan McIntosh, new country artist here at the uh, Indies, checking everything out. Right on, listen, I'd like to congratulate you on all that you've done so far, and I'd just like to ask you, um, can, can rock and roll, can music still change the world? Oh, of course it can. Music changes the world every day. I mean, it cha it's changing my world right now as, as we speak, so... Music is everywhere. Music helps people all around the world. It's, it's kind of like a universal language in a way. I mean, you can go to a country that doesn't speak English and they'll sing along to your English song. So yeah, music is definitely changing the world and it's never gonna stop. If you could give some advice to somebody else coming up and they, they feel like they wanna give up, they, th they think, you know what, it's not for me anymore. What, what, what would be your advice? Don't give up. I mean, if you're really good at it and you're really passionate about it, don't, don't give up at all. I mean, I've been singing all my life and only two years ago have I finally gotten the team around me that's helping me make my dreams come true. So I just don't give up. If you really love it, stick with it and hopefully you'll, uh, hopefully you'll make something out of it. How old were you, do you think, when you first said, you know, this is for me, I, I wanna sing, I wanna write songs? I think I was about, I'm 18 now, so I think I was about 16 or 15 when I was kind of was like, yeah, this is this is what I want to do. And it, that's when I realized I really was not good at anything else. So if this didn't work out, <laughs> I was screwed for my life. But I uh, no, it's it's always been in the back of my brain my entire life. I've been singing since I was really little, but things are really happening now. Things are rolling. The, the, the train has definitely left the station. So it's just keeping it rolling and, and looking forward to the future. Where have you found your support? and? Um like, were your parents also very supportive of you and friends, and, and, and where do you find inspiration? Yeah, my family is extremely supportive. My last music video for my last single, That Girl, there's scenes in a coffee shop where there's, there's people, like just customers, and I could name you every single person and their story and, and how they relate to me and how I know them, and it's just cool to be able to have that support and really involve them in things. So yeah, I mean, everyone's so supportive and everyone's really excited about it because my, well, my family's very musical. So for me to kind of do this for a living and make a career out of it, they're like, go for it, you got this. So it, it's really awesome to get that support. Was there a moment for you that you felt that, you know, I don't want to do this anymore or, you know, maybe I should look into becoming a doctor or something? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I'm not gonna lie. There, there were moments when, it's like you've been singing since you were little and, and now that you're still doing these competitions and these little things here and there and it's like maybe I should start thinking of something else but like I said before, I, this is what I wanted to do and, and I always preach don't give up, don't don't stop and I didn't. I, I, there were moments when I wanted to, trust me, I wanted to but I realized that this is my passion, this is what I love and I wasn't going to stop. You said that you're only 18 years old. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Still pretty young, but I mean, I know this is what I want. So. That's awesome. A lot of people at 40 years old have no idea what the hell they want to do. True. You know, and some <laughs> people unfortunately will go to their grave and they still hadn't found out. Yeah, I mean, if, if you could think ahead, try to think ahead, what would you like your legacy to be? You know, I want to be able to share my music with the world and and like we were talking about before, hopefully it makes a difference somehow. Hopefully it helps people out. I'm, I'm a big believer in writing songs that I relate to personally, but it's someone 100 miles away or is going to listen to it and be like, wow, this is what I'm going through right now. So, you know, I, I hope to make great music for the rest of my life and just be known as the young guy in country that's really bringing it all together, the music and the young and the, and the fun and, and, and just everything, you know, I just want to, I just want to do this forever. <laughs> Is there, is there a reoccurring theme in your lyrics and what you sing about? Yeah, I mean, I just graduated high school, so a lot of my writing came from that stupid high school drama, high school relationships that is totally not worth it now that I think about it, but it makes for really great songs. So that's definitely a lot of inspiration came from that. <laughs>